Hi, this is Stephen Hickey, and in this video I want to take you in and show you how to set up any kind of address, whether it's normal address, a PO address, all within Amazon.com, .ca, it's all the same stuff. So stay tuned for this video, it's going to be shown on the iPhone. Before we get into today's video, I just want to show you if you would like to continue your learning and get access to a four-part mini Gmail course on iOS, um, then head over to Get Into Technology, that is G-E-T-I-N-T-O-T-E-C-H-N-O-L-O-G-Y dot com forward slash Gmail hyphen course you can see the address right at the top just type it in and this will take you to um, an opt-in page where you can come down here you see more about this course I give you a free video on how to add a photo to email create new folder uh, delete all emails at once if you ever get frustrated and you got all these emails coming into your inbox and you just don't know how uh, how to get rid of them I will show you how to do it all at once instead of sitting there individually deleting them all at the same like individually uh, come down here and click play watch this video hello and welcome to GIT get into technology we are excited that you arrived here and we wanted to tell you about this four-part mini Gmail course that we have put together for you this course packed full of rich content that takes you by the hand and you can see you can see Matthew there will explain the four part mini Gmail course and you can either get access to it by clicking access now here or you can scroll down to the bottom and you can click get access here and, and then just put in your name put in your name and your email and click submit and then you'll get access to this four part mini Gmail course that I've uh, created and this will continue on with your learning and I have many more video courses coming out in the future so this will keep you up to date this will keep you in line uh, with what I'm doing on with today's lesson thank you okay what you want to do is sign into your iPhone and then once you're signed in you're gonna go look for Safari uh, Safari I have it in a folder up there it says 260 so I'm gonna click on that and Safari is in the middle at the down at the bottom so wherever Safari is on your phone you can click it and what you want to do is you want to come to amazon.com amazon.ca um, wherever you're located um, and today I'm going to show you how to change create an address whatever you want doesn't matter if it's in Canada United States or wherever all you have to do is come in here and you'll see the Amazon sign logo up in the left corner with three lines so what you want to do is you want to click on the three lines and a menu opens up and you want to scroll down until you see the third section where it says help and settings and it says your account so click on your account wait for that to come up and then what you're going to do is you're going to go down into the second section that says account settings and you want to click on your addresses okay so let's click on your addresses it's the third one down under account settings inside here the first thing it says your addresses add a new address add a new locker address so if you have a a locker you can add an address that they can put it in a locker if you have a, a you want to add a new address you can come in here click on add new address and this menu opens up here it's starting with the United States because we're on amazon.com but if we do click the drop down menu where it says night United States just click on there it gives you every country out there 
so wherever you're from okay so you want to pick where you're from and in this video we're going to do United States so just stay with the United States and I'm not going to fill this all out because I don't need to I want to explain this to you fully so you understand and it's very straightforward it already has the information there telling you what you need to do so it says put your full name in so all you have to do is you want to put your full name and click it and then put your name in and then this another section here says street number or street and number P.O. box so if you have a P.O. box number you could go P.O. box I used to have a P.O. box at a US address and I would go sweet 1345 or sweet 113 and it's acceptable so you can go P.O. box so what you would do is go P dot O dot box three three four five whatever your P.O. box is and then you carry on with uh, the street so your street is um, King so you could put in King Street period and then if it's a you see under here this a section below P.O. box what I put in there it says apartment suite unit building floor etc so you can put box 303 King Street and you can come down and you can go to the city you can come down and you go to the state the province or the region or whatever or if you have it at a U ad address you're not going to put B.O. box there you'll go something like this 3909 Whitmere Road um, and so in this scenario I would use P.O. box I would use suite suite 3345 and then I would put Niagara Falls and then you go New York NY and then you go the zip code and then you go the phone number um, of the place or you can just put the phone number your phone number so if they have any issues they can call you which I would do I would put your phone number in there and so 313 349 well just hold on here oh they don't give you um, no they don't give you the opportunity to do that so 343 399 4141 and then you can scroll down here add delivery instructions do we need additional instructions to find this address and if so provide details such as buildings descriptions a near nearby landmark landmark like a store front a restaurant a unique building color a car lot so that's that is what they're asking you to provide a, tr a landmark or navigation instructions so then you you can put GPS instructions coordinates to that that destination do we need a security code or a call box number to access the building and if so then you're gonna put in what already says one two three four you could put in three four five nine seven one If it is a five digit code, then you're gonna put a five. If it's a four, you're gonna put four. If it's, well, nothing's a two. 
<laughs> and then you want weekly deli uh, weekend delivery. I can receive packages on Saturday and Sunday. So then if you can't, just take your thumb and unclick them. But if you can, leave them checkmarked. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add that address. So you can add that. I'm not going to add this in this scenario because all I'm doing in here is coming in. I'm showing you how to put an, a PO address in a sweet address in, a regular address in. Um, like you could even forget about this. So then you could go whatever you want. Aurora. And then you could go, well, we could do this. We could even change it if you wanted to, depending on where you are. Scrolling up, I passed it. Nope. Canada. So then it's gonna ask you to select province. So Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Northwest Territories, Nova Scotia, Newvant, or Ontario, well, we're in Ontario. And you get the picture. You can put your name back in. You can put the street and number, P.O. Box, Co. Now, I've done an address where I've had, I've had something shipped to a friend in the United States. I live in Canada. And then she shipped it to me. So I put her name and I went co Stephen Hickey. So if you went, you could go April. Turner. And then you go co forward slash. my name and what co means is care of so they deliver it to her but it's my order and they know that because I put April Turner CO forward slash care of and then down here below you're gonna put the address like I showed you in the beginning and you're gonna go to the apartment suite unit building floor etc city province or state a postal code or zip code and then phone number and then you're going to add the address and this is it for this video now if you want to learn how to make that uh, a default address then there is another video on that in my selection um, within the videos on this channel so you just have to search it out it's to make a default address within Amazon so go find that after you've done this address and you're good to go. So thanks for watching. If you have anything that you need or you're, you're having trouble with, just please put it in the comment section and I'll do my best to help you out. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Stay connected with GIT Get Into Technology by subscribing to this channel. It's down on the right side of this video just below. And you also want to click on the bell notification and any new videos that are coming out, you'll be notified and you will able to continue on with your learning. Um, and we have new videos coming out all the time. After watching the video, scroll down and you'll see the thumbs up. Just click on the thumbs up and let us know that you liked the video. And if you want more information on GIT, get into technology, you click on more and you can scroll down here. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you continue on. Please leave us a comment on what you thought about the video, how it helped you move forward, and what problem it solved. And you can just left click and then type your message in here and come over to the far right side and click on comment. If you have any questions regarding what you watched today or you need help with something, please leave a question inside the comment section and we will answer it for you. So stay connected with GIT, get into technology.
Remember to subscribe to GIT, get into technology. It's the icon to the right of the arrow and then click the bell notification down below the right arrow on the right hand side and make sure you got the lines on both sides of the bell and that will notify you of any new videos being released and click above to watch the latest video. Thanks for watching and I appreciate you enjoying this channel and until the next video. Cheers.